Hello. Yeah. Poop poop. Kind of yeah. like we said poop poop. Poop poop. <laughs> poop poop. <laughs> Why was it so quick? So staccato. Poop poop. You tricked me. Do poop poop. poop. <laughs> Hey guys, this week on a very special My Drug Kitchen, I am joined by Colleen! Wee, it's me! Hey! Yo! Oh. Ah. I am not a mixologist. Is it vodka? It is vodka. <laughs> it's very vodka. Colleen, do you have any idea what we're going to be making? I have a little bit of an idea because you told me. Is it baked apples? That's right! Guys, we are one week away from Thanksgiving, and in honor of Thanksgiving, you're the penultimate oh my Thanksgiving gosh. content. That's so exciting, I'm it's, honored. You should be, Thanksgiving's my favorite holiday. What's your favorite holiday? Um, I'm not a huge fan of Thanksgiving. <laughs> not gonna lie. See, Thanksgiving to me is all the drama day. Mm. And then Christmas is like, the, there's still drama. <laughs> <laughs> Too delicious? No, it's like you eat dinner. I do that every night. This is not the kind of dinner you eat every night. I had mashed potatoes at lunch today. So you just eat Thanksgiving all Whenever year round. I want. And we should all be that grateful. You, yes. Practice Thanksgiving every day. <laughs> Baked apples. Delicious. Step number one is to preheat your oven to 375. Did it. Step number two is rinse and dry the apples. No. Too Squeaky far. clean. Squeaky <laughs> clean. <laughs> Using an apple corer, cut out the cores. You have an apple corer? I got a melon baller. Volander. Oh. Whoever gets their apple done fastest wins. Oh, it's a challenge. Oh my gosh, this is fun. This is working really well. How big is this hole supposed to be? Oh, I don't oh. know. I'm just having so much fun. Yeah. Oh, yours is bigger than mine. Mm. Mm. Is this how it is? Yeah. We did it. That's how it is. We made a hole. Oh. The next step is just taking these items, cinnamon, brown sugar, raisins, and pecans, and we're going to put them all into a bowl. Yeah. Pecans. How much? Because we can, can, can. I do not trust raisins. Okay. I don't like them, I don't trust them. <laughs> oh my god. Those raisins are dead to me. We can skip them. Who needs raisins? Do you like raisins? No, 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 nobody No does. one likes raisins. likes raisins. But you know what song I like? I found a raisin for me. <gasps> oh my god, Anna. <laughs> You protect your damn brown sugar. No! <laughs> I am sweating. Brown sugar. How much? That's good. I it's... used to go in the cupboards and steal brown sugar. <laughs> and eat it as a child. And last but not least, cinnamon. Yeah, hella cinnamon. I think it's gonna be like a pecan filled apple more than anything else. But, but we're gonna bake it, so that makes it a baked apple. With pecans. And brown sugar pecans. Put the apples in a baking dish and stuff each apple with the sugar stuffing mixture. Perfect. Do you know that apples contain trace elements of arsenic? And trace so meaning three? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Yeah. Do you want to be the stuffer or the receptacle? Mm, I want to be the stuffer. Okay, well, live your dream. Stuff the hole. It's going everywhere, it's going everywhere. Just like Ballinger, she's going everywhere. Going everywhere, just like Ballinger. Yeah, touring, she tours a lot. Why does she do it? I don't know. <laughs> Great rapping. Did I do it? No, you're done, we're still done. Is it okay that I'm getting sugar everywhere? <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> and... You do it much cleaner than I do it. I've made a lot of messes in my lifetime, but you know, you can't get to a nice, clean kitchen without making a few messes along the way. We've all made a few messes from time to time, but you gotta make a mess to get to the best. Yes. Put that up. A good kitchen. <laughs> like a 45-year-old mother would buy that and like put it on her wall. You mean my spirit animal? Yup. Add butter to each of your apples. That smells like butter. <laughs> You're ballin'. Oh, ballin you like jerk. ballin' too. We ballin', we ballin', we Just ballin'. Like... Yes. It melts. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> mayday, mayday! Round two, round two. And then, just right there, yeah. And it melts into over. it. Mm -hmm. Oh, get Girl. it. Girl. Right. Ooh. And we do this. Oh, you're oh. much more better than me. It's these four. Apps. English. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's a butter. I think it's a butter. <laughs> Pour boiling water into the bottom of the baking sheet. What baking sheet? <laughs> we never got one of those. <laughs> Can we just put it in a bowl? Can we just put 
water in here and then like maybe it'll boil. I mean, I think it'll boil in the oven. Isn't right? that science? That's total science. Let's just do that. Yeah, let's have some nice soupy apples. Guys, I'm gonna call this recipe out on a couple things. Number one, why would we wanna pour boiling water into something that's about to go into a burning oven? Yeah, zero sense, no logic. Well, nobody even knows what temperature water boils at. Mm -mm. But I bet it's less than 375. Yeah. Let's put a little water in that. Oh. I'm nervous. Uh oh. Oh, it's on my shoe. Okay. This is the opposite of boiling water. Now we're just proving it to you by using cold ass water. We don't need your raisins. We don't need your boiling water. We're back to the raisins. We put these in the oven, wait 30 minutes, and then they'll be done. Yippee! Oh, we're back 30 minutes later. Oh my goodness, they look so good. This is a question mark. Yeah, it's very sack like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the sack. Ew, this is gross. It looks like apple sauce. There's so much water in this. I know, weird, right? Guys, did we just make apple sauce? I think we accidentally made apple sauce. Colleen, because you're a special guest, you get to take the first bite of this baked apple sauce. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, it's hot. Okay, you can spin the bowl if you're burning your mouth, but mmm. Hannah, why is that? That's not very good. <laughs> Hold on. That's delicious. I mean, it's plain applesauce with some burnt nuts. <laughs> we set out to bake some apples, but you know what? The apples didn't turn out how we thought they would. Mm -hmm. And what's the message? The message is just don't do this. <laughs> Your family may be a little nuts, or sometimes too hot to handle. But the best way to deal with any bad situation is to just get... You know what actually made it made this good? Raisins? <laughs> Maybe that's the message. We didn't want the raisins. We were like, F these raisins. I don't want these raisins. They're not as good as what I want. But if we put the raisins in and dealt with the thing that was hardest in our life, that we don't like, we don't want to conquer, we don't want to deal with, but you have to put them in with all the good stuff in order to make the good stuff good. Oh my god, we have to confront the bad to make the good better. This would have been so much better if it had raisins, but I didn't want the raisins. We said no raisins, and now it's not that good. You can't make choices out of fear. You have to make them out of faith. Yep. Oh my god. Now that's a message! <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are counting down to Thanksgiving with so much joy in your hearts. Thank you to Colleen for being here on You're my welcome. dark kitchen. Thank you for having me. If you guys want to see something really incredible that we did. Check out her channel. It's incredible. I mean, I have never seen Candy Corn do that before. Me neither. And I never will again. No. No. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for being here. Subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday and Thursday and Have a great day.